So if the title of the video brought you here, we've got the ASRock Desk Mini GTX RX. It's a super small form factor computer that takes standard MXM graphics modules. We're gonna put a Quadro, a professional series graphics card in the Desk Mini GTX RX. Why? Well, because we can, because it's got the MXM module. To see what happens when we do. Now, if you missed our review on the Desk Mini GTX RX from ASRock, it's a super small form factor, basically a full desktop computer, but you get sodium memory, two slots. It's got an i7-8700, not a K, not the mobile version of the processor. Turbo is up to 4.3 gigahertz, so six cores. It is a serious amount of computational horsepower in a two liter package, so it's really, really small. This one comes with a 220 watt power supply, the uh, version of the GTX RX that comes with a 1080 comes with a 280 watt power supply, so you get a little bit beefier power supply. Ours is 220 watts, comes with a GTX 1060. That's the configuration you get on Newegg, Amazon, etc. GTX 1060. There's not a version that comes with a Quadro. Why would you want to run a Quadro instead of a GeForce card? The GeForce card's faster. So, well, yeah, for gamers and stuff like that, the GeForce cards optimize speed over quality and accuracy. And quality is a subjective term. I don't mean video quality, I just mean like the quality of the computations. Quadros are designed for business applications. So I'm talking about Autodesk Maya, Creo, um, Katia, different medical applications, medical imaging applications, stuff like that. Anywhere space is at a premium, but you need uh, professional workstation graphics. A lot of the time people use workstation class laptops. Workstation class laptops aren't bad. It's just that with workstation class laptops, you run into situations where maybe there's excessive heat production or maybe the displays are not quite that good because hey, this thing can do two 4K display port outputs, which is exciting. So anyway, the question becomes, will an MXM module like this work in this machine from ASRock? Well, yes, it does, it absolutely does. But it took a little bit of fiddling to uh, figure it out. A lot of the time the laptop modules come customized for use in a laptop and in our case we found that the flash images of the MXM modules that we could acquire uh, were designed for specific laptops. Now fortunately you can download lots of different BIOSes from the internet and you can flash them but you have to disable the safeties and, and do some other stuff. So let me walk you through the process for what we did. But first I gotta say thanks to Geeky Tech. He follows me on Twitter and he's like, hey, I've got an M2000M Quadro, it's an MXM module and I'd like to send it to you to see if it works. And that's sort of what began this whole process. So first up is just, will the module fit in the ASRock computer? Because it's not just the physical MXM slot, it's also cooling, right? Because you gotta make sure that the cooling works. Well, good news, on MXM modules, at least this is the MXM 3B variant, so it's a little uh, extra length there that you get with your MXM module. It works perfectly in the ASRock desk mini computer. And the reason for that is that the placement of the GPU on the MXM module is also part of the standard. So the heatsink, the existing ASRock heatsink, lined up and worked perfectly. Now you should know that a lot of these MXM mod modules come with a little sort of mini metal backplate that's installed. You've got to remove that. So you use a screwdriver to sort of insert, very gently pry it up and pry it away because you won't need that with the ASRock cooling solution. It's got four spring-loaded screws, you just use that. And those spring-loaded screws will apply appropriate pressure. So when we got the M2000M module installed, it didn't work, wouldn't post. Um, and it actually took getting a K3100 module that did work in order to figure out what it was because I didn't want to risk damaging the GTX 1060 because hey, GTX 1060, I like the game. I like the game with the best of them. So I didn't want to break it. Now the K3100 was from a Dell and the M2000M was from an HP laptops, of course. The Dell worked, but the Dell only worked when the primary GPU was the iGPU from Intel. So anybody that's gonna undertake this process, I think your first step is to go in the ASRock BIOS and configure it to use the onboard graphics as opposed to the add-in graphics. That is an option in the UEFI, you just need to set that, set it for onboard, and then you can use the HDMI port at the back to boot from the entire system and see the graphics, and then it doesn't even matter if you have an MXM module installed, you can still boot and use the system and everything works fine. The next thing you'll wanna do is install your MXM module and then install whatever drivers are appropriate for your operating system. Now in our case, we installed the drivers from NVIDIA for the Quadro uh, uh, K3100, and the K3100 started working fine. It worked fine as a secondary display. Try to change the iGPU back to the add-in graphics card. It didn't work. Changed it back to the iGPU and everything's fine. Turns out this is 
has to do with the Flash BIOS. We had to dump the Flash BIOS and sort of took a look at it. Unfortunately, the website Tech Power Up offers the NV Flash utility in some different uh, flavors. One of them has safeties and certificate checks disabled that'll basically let you flash anything onto one of these MXM cards. And that's what you're gonna have to do because all the safeties and everything's gonna be like, oh my gosh, this isn't the right card. And there's no, you know, in, in the M2000M, the BIOS was completely blank. So it was like, hey, this BIOS is blank. I should not flash this. Uh, but with the overrides, with the hacked executable, you can totally flash those BIOSes. Gotta be careful here too, because if you flash the wrong thing, you can end up breaking the card, then it doesn't work at all. And so you're gonna have to get out the EEPROM chip clip in order to reprogram the EEPROM, and that's not gonna be a pleasant situation. But if you get the card and you get the BIOS that exactly matches the card, everything will work, it'll be great. And then at that point, everything is fully functional. So the only thing left for us to do was to ins install uh, some benchmarking utilities and see how everything run. And I'm happy to report that for the M2000M and the K3100, the performance was right in line with the results that you get um, when doing benchmarks for various applications. So SolidWorks, Creo, Katia, the other applications that I mentioned before that will do workstation class um, benchmarks, SpecViewPerf is another workstation class benchmarking application. Those results from those benchmarking programs were right in line, if a little bit better, than equivalent notebooks from uh, Notebook Check. So you can look at Notebook Check, and normally you're looking at laptops, we're looking at a small form factor desktop PC, but hey, it works. Now you should note that if you do this, you know, you end up paying a lot. I mean, even with the graphics card prices the way they are, you would pretty much have to resell that GTX 1060 on eBay or something like that in order to make your money back. Um, and I think that you could, if you do that, end up in a situation where overall, everything sort of costs less because you know, the K3100 equivalent performance desktop graphics card is gonna be on the, on the cost order of like $300 or so. And that MXM module is only around $100, at least up until now. MXM availability is also a little bit of a problem. You're gonna have to get it from eBay or Alibaba. There's not a vendor out there. But I've created a poll in the description. If you're thinking about using a desk mini and you would love to see a version of the desk mini bundled with Quadro graphics, uh, you can let ASRock know with the little poll that I've created. Maybe we can do a, a supplier in the US, like maybe a CAD uh, supplier or something like that, that would be interested in purchasing, say, 100 desk minis from ASRock. And then if they purchase 100 desk minis from ASRock, they could outfit them with quadros and offer warranty service and support and things like that. I don't know. I don't know how much interest there would be for small form factor machines like that, but I suspect that it's, it's probably quite a bit, probably more than ASRock expects because this is a great form factor, not just for home theaters, but also business class users as well. So if you decide to take up this project or you have taken up this project and you want to share your results in photo form, definitely do share in the forums at Level 1 Techs. I'm Wendell, I'd love to see that. I'd love to see what you do with this project. I'd love to see anybody that's sticking a quadro in this thing. I'm signing out and I'll see you later.